Hi, and welcome to update video number 7. Let's start by completion of the shortest quest and the best experience. 5000 crafting and smithing experience, getting me to level 32 in both. And this will be part 2 completed. 7500 crafting and smithing experience, awesome. I refuse to do any low level skilling. Questing all the way. Quickly caught three scorpions for six and a half thousand strength experience. Ooh, level 40. And this will be the golem quest completed. Next will be the shadow of the storm and I think that will be a little bit more difficult. I know you can do it! I know you can do it! Do it! Fuck it! Oh my fucking god, yes, finally! Yes, holy crap, this took forever. Finally I will be able to unlock the ranged skill number 3. Oh my god, hell yes! 27 ranged. Whew. Yes, good. Now I can do something else. Holy crap, this was difficult. The next up, Evil Dave, I guess. So I need at least 12 stews. Ah, crap, I can't do Evil Stew. Ah, damn, I can't do Recipe for Disaster free Evil Dave right now. I still have a freaking kitten. Okay, another quest then. Shoot quest completed, 15,000 thieving experience, which will get me to level 37. Fuck ever getting 30 to 37 thieving, just complete this quest. Much easier. Oh, how beautiful, how beautiful this looks. Not really that many cosmic rooms. It takes a very long time to solve that freaking Sudoku puzzle to get access to this store or this chest. So yeah, I'm not going to be buying all my cosmic runes from this shop. Fuck that. I am going to be buying all the law runes though. Not really sure what I can do with nature runes right now. And that's pretty much it. I just needed one cosmic rune for my ring of dueling that I've just used up. And I might as well just make a games necklace for some other quests. And that's about it, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, I was kind of stupid. <sighs> Shut up, cat. So, if you just skip through all this crap, like the selection of your runes, you could try to open a large casket, but if you select the freaking fourth option, buy other runes, then you don't have to freaking solve that Sudoku puzzle. The prices are a lot higher, but there are a lot more runes here. And I can just simply hop worlds, buy some cosmic runes here. A lot more nature runes, a lot more law runes. Okay, fuck the Sudoku puzzle. Nice. Alright, awesome. I'm not really feeling like continuing the troll stronghold quest. I don't really want to pass these thrower trolls. It's multi-area, their max hit is like 8 or 9. So I think I'm either going to wait until I have 40 range to pass them or 44 agility. But my pet cat has been grown into a regular size cat, so let's do Evil Dave. Alright, just got the totally evil spices too. This will give me 7000 cooking experience. 
and then some extra items available in the Colormancer chest. But I just noticed that I have a cat right now. So I think what the best thing to do right now is to complete all the cat quests. I don't really want to grow another cat. So to do Rat Catcher's quest, I first need to do Iklorin's Little Helper. And those two quests are actually the only two remaining. For A Tale of Two Cats, I don't really think you'll need to catch any mice, so I can just do that quest when I get 30 Herblore. You get two experience left from that quest, so I want to wait or hold that quest off until I get level 30. Yeah, I'm going to be buying some defensive legs because I don't have protect from melee and there are high level zombies in there. So I'm going to prepare. This quest was actually a bit easier than expected. Hello? Was I got stuck by a ghost? Those zombies, there were plenty of zombies of Comet 84 and I barely got hit by them. That was kind of weird. And those two bosses, they were also quite easy or they didn't really hit anything. So, damn, this quest was, uh, yeah, not really difficult. Nice agility and thieving level. Now it is time for rat catchers. Oh, I need a quorum for rat catchers. How do I get a quorum? Alright, I just looked it up and yes, apparently you need to be at least in the Autium Garden to get access to the quorum, so that's a no-go. But nice, I found another method, it is killing Kale Druids. So, yay, let's go there. Okay, I've gotten my grimy quorm. I simply need to clean this in Narda, then I will have my first item needed for the Rat Catcher's quest. I kinda enjoyed it here, so I stayed here for two magic levels. Ugh, six, come on. And there we go, 40 magic. I can now do the teleport to house and apparently also various other spells. Teleport to my house, I don't really have many things in my house currently. But I can move my house around, so a teleportation method to my POH portal is always nice. So just in time, I've gotten a full inventory of herbs. Now I'm quickly going to note them. And then I'm going to make them into potions. I think I'm going to take a small break from questing. Currently at 119 quest points, but there are still plenty that I am able to complete. But I'm going to be taking a short break. I was thinking of getting to level 30 Herbal right now. But the problem is that I want to have as much inventory space as possible. So what I'm first going to be doing is get rid of my 1.2 thousand fire strikes in my inventory. Since I need prayer experience anyway, I'm going to be killing some blue dragons. Why am I going to a bank? So killing blue dragons and then I'm going to quickly grab my ectophile and using the ectophunctus to get rid of the bones and then teleport to Felador and repeat. The only cat quest remaining is a tale of two cats and you don't need to catch any rats with that quest. So I think I'm just going to be showing away my cat for some extra inventory space. I know I could have traded that cat in for 200 death runes, but what am I going to do with that? I only have 40 magic. Yeah, air blast maybe, but whatever, the cat is already gone. So yeah, blue dragon's time. Cheat, almost forgot that I needed a anti-dragon fire shield, lol. Ah oh shit, forgot to record. Here is level 45 magic. Cam teleport to Camelot. Holy crap, finally, yes. That is so helpful. I have no 
efficient way how to get to Sears Village or Catherby. So having a Camelot teleport is fucking amazing. And I just ran out of air runes. I was actually counting my mind runes, I didn't expect to run out of air runes, but okay. Get rid of this, get that qualm leaf and get out of here. Let's quickly make those into 288 prayer experience each. Will I get 37? Will this be? Fuck! Final bone meal for level 37 protect from magic. Yes, my inventory is now a little bit less cloggy. These herbs are dropped by the chaos roots as well. So next I am going to buy my rune sword and get some more inventory space. Where's my chronicle? Oh, I got rid of it. Shit. Okay, I'm going to be ending the video here. Next, I'm going to the Chaos Roots and get 30 Herb Law. So, okay, thanks, bye.